Thank you, Robert. Those vacant homes and buildings in your neighborhood could soon be cleaned up and secured thanks to a new measure being considered by Toledo City Council. Tyler Paley is live at One Government Center tonight with more on this. Tyler, what's the status of the new plan? Yeah, it's still winding its way through council at this hour, Christy. The plan to clean up some neighborhoods is actually three pronged, looking to tackle appearance, safety, and even potential preservation. If you drive by in many places, you'll see two pieces of board. You know, one's a little longer, one's a little shorter, and just, yeah, boom. This is the view on many street corners in East Toledo and some other parts of the city. Poverty and a lack of investment here have made this all too common. And while Toledo Councilman Peter Uvagi says the root causes must be addressed, he's also proposing an interim fix, boarding up vacant buildings in a more secure and appealing way. What we want to do is to put a program into place that shows that there is one, respect for the neighborhood, to care for the neighborhood, and that hopefully some of those properties can be saved and rehabilitated, not just torn down. That's because he sees homes like this one, and he's concerned about what could happen when nobody's watching. To me and to a lot of people in the neighborhood, it's almost like when you board up a house like that, it's like a neon light saying, strip me, strip me, strip me. They know that nobody's living in there. Uvagi's plan, which has support from other council members, estimates each board would cost between $45 and $130. They wouldn't be regular plywood, rather more sturdy wood, painted and cut to the proper size. This isn't going to cost that much more, but I think that in terms of value to the property, stability of the neighborhood, it'll, it will make a real difference. This better board up program will now head to the neighborhoods committee. City Council could hear it as early as their next meeting two weeks from now. We will, of course, keep you updated on its progress, both here on air as well as on our free WTOL 11 app. For now, we're live in downtown Toledo tonight. Tyler Paley, WTOL 11.